Hi everyone, so we made it to her or to our hotel finally. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we finally finally um landed in San Francisco and we're staying at the Marriott hotel. hotel. And so we're gonna give you guys a room tour. So let's go. So you walk in here and this is like the little seating area. You have a sofa that's actually very comfortable. Over here on the right side, there's a really big TV and some free water this water you got to pay for nine dollars <laughs> and then uh, a few cups here and underneath is a mini fridge which is really nice it's nice to have here is the, the bedroom so we got the bed and two nightstands i think it's really nice I, I really like the design that they have we have another tv as well and right here is a closet this is the bathroom. The bathroom is really cool. Hope you guys like this room tour, hotel room tour, and we'll see you guys. So if you guys are planning on coming to San Francisco, this Marriott is 12 minutes away from the airport to here. So it's very close by and there's some food areas nearby. So we recommend you guys to check out, check this place out. shrimp bento box and we got this from Sarku uh, Japan restaurant in the mall so this is the shrimp we got the rice here this is the vegetables uh, some ginger wasabi uh, fried dumpling and California rolls so let me try the shrimp first Yeah, I would say it's average. Let me try the rice. Could be better, but it's good. Let's try the vegetables. The vegetables are good. So I would say 
overall, it's in the middle. Shrimp could be better. And the rice is not bad. So right here we have the chicken teriyaki bento box. It comes with the same thing as well like on the sides. So let's try the chicken. <laughs> the chicken has some, some issues with it. Not really great in texture wise. It has like a weird kind of like rubber texture to the chicken. And the sauce is in the middle. So let me try the California roll. The California roll is actually not that bad. It's better than the chicken and the rice, for sure. It looks very crispy. So I'm not really a huge fan of these dumplings. Um, looks like they've been fried and left out, so it doesn't have that like great taste to it. Kind of like oily on the outside, and the inside has a weird taste. Um, but overall, it's not a bad place, but I wouldn't recommend you guys to come here and try it unless you guys are interested in trying it. Okay guys, so update, um, the bento was really bad and <laughs> we ordered uh, some chicken tenders from Winner Winner, which is like right next to the uh, Japanese place. But yeah, the bento was just not, it was not doing it. Let you guys know how winner winner chicken is winner winner chicken dinner that is so we're here at winner winner and we got some um, dipping sauce for it we got ranch and spicy mustard so let's try it okay cheers Yeah, the chicken is very good and very juicy and seasoned really well. And it kind of resembles uh, Ruby's chicken, the chicken tenders at Ruby's uh -huh. diner. Hit with the ranch. So the ranch is not bad, but the chicken itself is really good. Uh -huh. It comes with the side, and we got fries. Yeah, the fries are actually really good. They're really crispy and really soft in the inside. I recommend you guys to try this place out and not the Japanese place. Okay guys, so we are here at Uncle Tetsu. It was right in front of the winner winner place. We got the original photo. Now I will say it is on the expensive side. Oh yeah. It like is. it was uh, $14 for like the big whole cheesecake. But let's see if it's worth $14. Well, the cheesecake is very soft. It's fluffy. It's like a typical cheesecake though. It has like a... It needs more on the egg flavor than the cheese. No. I would say. I agree. So if you will only find that cream cheese flavor, you'll find more of that uh, egg flavor. whole coffee and I ordered a mocha with skimmed milk and a little bit of the chocolate syrup so this is house made chocolate syrup and it is semi-sweet chocolate so let me try it it looks really pretty because I ordered it with less of the chocolate syrup it just has like that small little subtle taste of the chocolate but I feel like overall it's very good and I can tell that the ingredients that they use is very like good quality so i really i really enjoy it so i got the decaf cappuccino with oat milk i'm very excited to try it so this cappuccino is actually really good i like how it's creamy the coffee is very strong in it the design is really beautiful here they do really good just, like art design for coffees 
So I recommend you guys to try it here at Pinhole in San Francisco. Let us know in the comments if you guys have ever been to San Francisco and mm -hmm. your experience here. Yeah, because there's a lot of like twisty, windy roads and mm -hmm. some steep roads as well. Okay, so right now we're going to the Point Bonita Light Lighthouse. Yeah, lighthouse. Yes. The scenic view at the lighthouse is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see it. We're gonna take you guys along with us right now. We're walking on like, on, like this like path to get to the lighthouse. I know. So um, yeah, we'll show you guys. We are almost there. We're gonna go through the tunnel right now and then we'll make it to the lighthouse. It is freezing. We couldn't make it to <laughs> the lighthouse, but um, here's a little view tour of the area that's around it because my shirt is really like flying off in my hat. It's gonna fly out of my head. Uh, we didn't know, but it closes at 3.30 and it is like, 7 30 right now but maybe we will have a chance to see it um when it's open but still look how beautiful this view is still worth it though Zero. It was a really nice Italian restaurant, had a nice ambiance, very loud, but they had an open brick pizza oven, which I thought was very cool so you can see what's going inside. The first pizza we started with was the bufalina, which has some tomato, fresh basil, and mozzarella and parmesan cheese. Our second pizza was the pulcinella with tomato sauce, eggplant, cherry tomato, mozzarella, basil, pesto. We also got the watermelon salad and the lobster ravioli. So I tried the bufalina pizza and I was a huge fan of it. It was very soggy, but I like the taste of the tomato sauce and the pizza dough. Now it was time to try the lobster ravioli. Um, to be honest, I did not like the lobster ravioli at all. It had like a really weird um, texture and flavor on the inside. I felt like it just didn't work out. But I definitely enjoyed the porcinella much more. That pizza was so delicious. Incredible though. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us in the San Francisco food vlog tour of part one. We tried some delicious Mexican food in the next video. Amazing dumplings. We also had a private tour of a local vineyard in Napa Valley. And we tried some urban rituals. Visited Chinatown and tasted some delicious matcha ice cream and matcha lattes while we also looked at the amazing spectacular view of San Francisco. So stay tuned for the next video.